Okay, short video. Here's the book I'll be using in this video. I don't often get this question, but it's usually in the back of everybody's mind. Uh, I get the question often enough that I had to bookmark this page. And the question is, is there absolute, positive, undisputable proof that copper was used to nap ancient points before European contact? The answer is yes. There is positive, definite, irrefutable, objective proof that copper was used to flake points, at least in this area and for what they call the meadowwood phase. Meadowwood phase, when was that? Well, there's a little bit of difference in dates, but Ritchie, the author of this book, states that the meadowwood phase was 3,000 to 2400 BP, which BC means 1050 to 450 years BC. All right, this is before the bone arrow, uh, before the bone arrow became common. It's not before the bone arrow because the bone arrow is older than this. Uh, I won't get into that aspect, but before it was common, this pressure flaker existed and the date for the meadowwood phase which this is part of is what i just mentioned a thousand bc to 450 bc or bp 3000 to 2400 okay now this is the drawing of the actual artifact and there are two copper pieces here copper here and copper there this whole thing up here is copper it's wrapped with sinew down here um, I'm supposing to make it more regular or to uh, cause it to fit better into the wood. This is broken. This, pe this flaker is broken to where the insert, instead of being here, is up here. It broke and it moved. A representation of how it look would have looked like complete is here with scale. All right. Now this is larger than actual size okay I've got a drawing I'm gonna actually make a duplicate I get this question often enough and I've get I got um, I get criticisms often enough that I actually need to make a duplicate and uh, show it and map with it often enough so that it'll sink in okay now what are their points what are the points in meadowwood phase they're pretty simple. This is a cache, a burial cache of uh, preforms. Uh, Meadowwood phase points are fairly simple. There's nothing really, uh, nothing really outstanding about these, right? Uh, copper can be used to create some very intricate, outstanding, beautiful pieces, but apparently they didn't use them, the copper pressure flakers for making that type of, type of points in this phase all right this is these are all at lateral dark points okay in the meadow wood phase just to be clear uh, there are antler and bone type of artifacts stone ground stone chipped stone artifacts net sinkers or bola weights or whatever you want to call them these were called net sinkers for using fishing because they also found pieces of netting. Now, this is the when. I wrote down when the meadowwood phase existed, right? Now, where? Where did it exist? Is it a huge area? Well, where that pressure flaker was found is in the Great Lakes region in the upper peninsula of Michigan. You can kind of barely see on this sketch where it is it's right up here this is michigan here the upper peninsula of michigan now when you look at the upper peninsula of michigan on the northern shore there's a little peninsula up there all right uh, this is uh, this is just a sketch uh just a rough sketch i know this is not going to be accurate but this upper peninsula of the upper peninsula this little piece of land sticking out here 
all right, is very interesting, okay? Uh, that might be Lake Superior, but don't quote me on it. I don't know these things by heart. This peninsula that juts out into the lake on the northern shore of Upper Michigan has the highest concentration of copper, naturally occurring copper on the surface in the world. Yes, the largest in the world. So it would make sense that they would use this in the area. Now the area where the pressure flaker was found is right about there, okay? Now this is not the scale, but it's not very far from this peninsula where you can find copper on the surface during this time period where Native Americans inhabited this area before European contact. Okay, so are we clear on that? I hope this is clear. We have positive definite proof of pressure flaking with copper here in this area, at least with one napper, right? But you know how that goes. One napper gets a good idea and they all join in, especially in that area. And any area that conducted trade with people from the Great Lakes. Who conducted trade with people from the Great Lakes? Many different people, especially up and down the Mississippi River. But there's also rivers above the Great Lakes not only below the Great Lakes, but above the Great Lakes. And rivers are the main conduit for uh, trade in the area because the terrain is very rugged. Okay, so there you go. I hope that answers that question. I will make an actual duplicate and I'll show you the dimensions and all that uh, shortly. Not today, not tomorrow, but in an upcoming video, hopefully soon, I'll make a duplicate and we're going to put this to rest. Okay. Was it common? We don't know if it was common, except it probably was common in the areas or area where copper was found naturally on the surface. That area of the upper peninsula of Michigan is not the only area where copper was found naturally on the surface. Okay. Alaska has rivers, at least one river in Alaska that has copper easily accessible and there are other rivers where you can find copper easily accessible you can pan for it and you get little pieces you can hammer those pieces out with stone yes you can you can heat copper in a fire hot enough to anneal it or to make it soft pound it out it gets hard as you pound it out but you can anneal it again put it in the fire the fire will be hot enough to make it soft and you can continue pounding it and you can make sheets with stone tools, stone on stone, hard hammer stone on a hard, a hard stone anvil and shape it that way. Fire, pound, fire, pound. You can anneal it, pound it, anneal it, pound it, and make sheets. Those sheets were used for various things. Uh, you can, they, the Native Americans applied sheet copper to wood, bone and stone, ivory, teeth, all kinds of things to make ornaments because you can shine it up, okay? They also made bells. Did they make awls and pointy things out of them? Yes. Did they make unidentified objects that we can't figure out what they were? Yes. Did they make figurines? Not so much. Did they make tools like celts and uh, chisels and stuff? Yes. All before European contact. And if you look if you want to look it up online, look up copper culture, copper culture, Native American, North American copper culture. There was also a copper culture in South America and Central America, all over the place. So I hope that answers the question. Uh, we can talk about it more in the comments. And um, I'll, like, like I said, I'll make a pressure flaker of that design in uh, one of the upcoming videos. All right.